Welcome back to Forks, Knives, and Spoons. I'm Mia Blaze. And I'm JJ. Today we will be going downtown Columbus and having a fun time at the Short North Gallery Hop. Fun, fun, fun. Down there with all the entertainment, retail, and restaurants. It was a great place to be on a Saturday. And the Gallery Hop, it's a staple of Columbus. They've been around, I guess this is their... It's their 38th anniversary in 2020. Wow, that is amazing. I can remember when I actually worked downtown, believe it or not, in the Gallery Hop Short North area at a place that no longer exists called the Major Court. And right next to that was Rigsby's, which is also gone. Wow, have things have changed. Things have changed. So let's kick this gallery hop off with Sherry Gallery. It was the first stop that we made on our tour of the Short North. Oh, it was a nice gallery. They had to be a theme about black women. I thought it was very deep, very intriguing. They also had a little sculpture garden in the back, which was really cool. Yes. I think it left a lot up to the interpretation of you when you, you know, indulged in the art from the artist. But it was very intriguing. If you get a chance, definitely go check it out. Our next jump was Global Gifts. Well, it was actually my stop because they caught my eye with some hats in the windows. You know know how I love my hat and due to an unfortunate mishap for my last vacation I'm definitely on the hunt to replace a few of them that I lost in my travels but that's okay it's a fair trade store and if you don't know what fair trade is you might want to look into it it had some cute little art things made from local artists and it also has some gorgeous hats but I didn't get one and after that we walked down the street and passed one of the many bands that play out there on high street when you're smiling the whole world smiles with you it keeps the atmosphere very light as you're going through the various shops and galleries and where do we go next man we went to Studios on High. They had the wonderful, eclectic collection of all sorts of art and funky stuff going on in there. But that's why they called it the Gallery Hop, because we were hopping around to all different locations. Yeah, and it was a nice gallery. They did have a collection of more African-American stuff. I like to call them the grannies. I, I wish I got more pictures. And they had jewelry in the back that was quite nice. Next up was a specialty shop called Big Fun on our gallery. Hop. Now this was an interesting place because they got toys, all kinds of toys. I mean, they had the Power Rangers, they had He-Man, they had just about any kind of figurine that you could think of, even the G.I. Joe stuff. One thing that I did find of interest that my brother would absolutely love, they had a collection of Hot Wheels, and he's a Hot Wheels collector. And then we did see an oddity, too, as we were going in. There was a car. Did you see that car, Mia, covered with all that stuff? I did, and eventually we're going to have to catch there's a car and another art show, but that one's in fly town in old town east and you'll find a lot of different cars just like this one that are made up to look like art sculptures believe it or not they have everything on it that you can think of from dolls to wrapping paper to one that even looks like a driving christmas tree those cars when we see them will have it all so then we just kind of scurried on down listening to the different artists that were singing out front all the different specialty shops from turkey to the wine stores we made our way down high street the next gallery we went to was the hammond harkins galleries and in that gallery there was an exhibit by amina robinson now this was very near and dear to my heart because this particular exhibit displayed the neighborhood where I grew up and there was so much history in that area things that I didn't even know about as a little kid it was amazing I am so upset that we didn't get any information from the lady that stopped and talked to us about the exhibit she was a wealth of knowledge yeah, she, was. she went into great detail about uh, uh, Amina Robinson who had curated the collection Hand picked it out, uh, especially for this event. And I found that the collection was very interesting. I mean, they had like maps in there of the old neighborhood. There was a, a, there, there were names for these inside these neighborhoods that she had chronicled. And it was just a very interesting thing, the, the, the pieces that she had put together. 
yes, I really wish that I had a lot more time to really go into depth about the different pieces that she picked. She actually handmade a book for her son, which chronicled the entire Poindexter Village and Mulberry Patch area. That book in itself was just it's priceless it's a wealth of so much knowledge about that area that you can go on and on and for her to just pour out her the history of that area in her artwork is just breathtaking in itself yeah, it one place that we had walked through was a restaurant it's el segundo it's a newcomer to the short north uh not a newcomer to cameron mitchell it's one of theirs concepts that they put together down there now they're into mexican at that particular joint and wish we had a chance to stay but it was really just a walk through to see the the wonderful decor and how they have that place put together looks very lively but unfortunately it was an hour wait for a seat so we passed on that one sadly and we'll have to go back Yes, we will. A little bit of history of that location where that El Segundo is. That's where Rigsby's used to be, which was a very upscale and high-end restaurant. Fine dining at its best. But now it's El Segundo. And once again on our stroll through the short north, we come upon some musicians. A pretty good group. Uh, they were doing folksy type stuff. You know, you find all kinds of music as you're traveling through the short north, and there's this is no exception. Um, and we pretty much just took it in as we passed on by and on to the next attraction. And so we rounded over into First Commonwealth Bank. There's the artist, hey, and his hype lady. Well, we really kind of stumbled on that one because we didn't catch their name. However, when we went in, there was a treasure trove of all of his artwork that he had hand-painted himself, a couple of sculptures. I mean, this gentleman was extremely talented. Beautiful pieces in there. There's ML. Okay, there's some Jay-Z, there's some interpretive pieces around the corner. I mean, you name it, he's touched on it. I think that's the Tuskegee Airmen. I'm not sure, but that's the vibe that I'm bet. getting from it. Yeah, me too. There's a diversity board there because if you didn't know, this month is diversity month. Oh, okay. Now, going inside to look at these other paintings, what do you think the interpretation of this one might be for you? I, you know, I'm not sure. I know that it's saying something with the Greek shattered pieces and the tennis shoe. I'm not sure if that is a popular artist ab above them, but I think they're all related and it says something. Oh, and there's Boog. Is yes. that her name, Boog? It was Boog. Boog. And, uh, you know, shout out to her. She is truly missed. She was a young and up-and-coming rap artist here in the Columbus area who was tragically gunned down about a year or so ago. Yeah, very sad, but a uh, very good piece that he put together in there. Yes, um, it, wonderful it piece. Thought-provoking. Now, we also made our way up to Lincoln Social. It's a rooftop bar uh, that's located on the short north. Always wanted to see the place. you got to take an elevator to get up to the, of course, to the roof floor uh, where you see all the nice goings-on. And the view up there is absolutely phenomenal of what you see of the short north and areas around Columbus as well very um very nicely put together uh and you know there are things that you notice when you look out above everything that you otherwise would not notice I saw this wonderful pool uh, below us in what may be a condominium or an apartment I, I don't believe it's a restaurant or anything like that but man some folks are enjoying some cool living out there in the short north that's what i can tell you right there so there was a large crowd at lincoln's social now we, we barely were able to find a seat uh and even though they had the it open to the outside in an outside outdoorsy area uh with a nice fire pit thing going only so much room but uh really nice kind of crowded didn't stay very long and uh just kind of took in the ambiance and made our way back out if you ever get a chance beautiful view up there it is an amazing view. And shout out to that lovely couple that moved things to the side and said, come on and have a seat. If it wasn't too crowded, we may have stayed and maybe had a little appetizer and a drink, but it was crowded. 
And as we're strolling along down the high street, I hear this songbird just going away on the corner. And I'm like, I know that voice. I know that voice. There was a time when I did a little short stint at Camelot Urban Winery as a bartender. And there's who I saw. Yes, she does sing there. Just not sure of when they'll have her on the ticket. But she does perform there every now and again. A beautiful voice. You can hear her just lighten up the avenue. That natural woman. Wonderful. Now, along our way, we kind of bumped into something kind of mm. unexpected. The Popo. Well, they didn't stop us for a ticket or anything, but mm. they looked absolutely majestic, uh, mounted on their horses as they moved throughout mm. the streets. And we also got a chance to come up to them up close mm. and personal. And Mia, did you notice the sunglasses on mm. the one horse? Yes, I did. That horse looked extra cool with their sunglasses mm. on. And they let me pet them. I'd never mm. pet a horse before. Let let alone road one that big it was the coolest thing ever it was it was a wonderful public service those guys coming out there and letting folks uh, cozy up to their to their horses mm. and they are ginormous beasts yes they are but they're gentle beasts you know the one did get a little spooked when uh he heard something in the alley but they're just being vigilant on their job i suppose they are gorgeous Ugh. One day I'll have to go horse riding, one day. And I do believe as we were rounding the corner on our nice little hop down the gallery hop, we ended up at Wine on High. I had always wanted to go in there and check it out. So today, guess what? I did just that. Looking at all the beautiful selections of the Cabernet Sauvignon, which is one of my favorite wines. The red blends, the Malbacs, mm, mm, mm. and I can go on and on. I ended up getting a nice small pour of just one of their house Cabernets. It was delicious full of body slightly jammy not too earthy with the tannins but it was an amazing wine for sipping had loved it so much did get a bottle to add to my collection and that more or less rounded out our trip to the short north on our gallery huh? and on our way out Mia you snapped some more photos out there yes I did I snapped some photos from the parking garage some beautiful murals that you can only see from up top to really get the full effect of them don't know because they're done by several different artists all throughout the short north area that area is just full of so much art and wonder you have to get down there and check it out and then that'll wrap it up for this edition this special edition of forks, forks knives, knives and spoons, and spoons.